Today we're looking at point slope form for equations of linear functions. So let's see. Point slope form, it's all in the name again, just like slope intercept form had the name telling you what you needed. Point slope form, you need a point. A point, x and y point, and the slope, m. Yeah. And if we put those together, we write them in a certain way. It's going to be point slope form. Okay? You're going to say y minus whatever y is in your point. We label that as y sub 1 equals the slope times x minus whatever x is in your point. Okay? x sub 1 and y sub 1 is just the point that you're given, okay? It's going to be numbers. The slope m is going to be a number. You either find it or they'll give it to you. And then you have your y and x. That's going to be like your variables that are just part of your equation. So let's see. Write an equation of the line with a slope of one half that passes through the point 2, 5. Well, this is our point slope equation, okay? So we just write this exactly like it looks using point slope. So y minus the y that they give us, 5, equals the slope they give us, 1 half, times x minus the x they give us, 2. There you go. That's this equation written in point-slope form. Okay, Just like slope-intercept form, it's not actually that difficult to write it out when they give you the point and the slope. y minus 5 equals 1 half x minus 2. Exactly what we got. So look at look at number one. Find the explosion of a given I'm sorry, find the equation of a given point and slope. Well, y minus what y do they give us? Seven equals what's the slope? Two thirds times x minus what x did they give us? Negative two. X minus negative two, that's two negatives right next to each other, that's plus two. X minus negative two is the same as X plus two. You need to watch out on your signs. That's mainly the thing that most people need to watch out for is when they're dealing with signs. B, same thing. Y minus, what did they give us? Negative one. So it's actually minus negative one is plus one. Equals the slope, negative five-fourths. Times x minus what x they give us? Six. X minus six. Point slope form. It is not that tricky. You put your points, you put in your slope, everything else you just write down. Now, number two, slightly trickier. Maybe not. It's just going backwards. What's the slope and the point if it's written like this, which is point slope form? The slope is what's in front of the parentheses, the m. That's 3 eighths. Easy to see. The slope is easy to see. It's right in front of the parentheses. That's one of the reasons we like using point slope form. When we have this, when we're looking for the slope and a point, the point that they give us now that's right there in front of you, but you have to take into account what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so the x point is three, it's not minus three because that's the point of the equation is that you have a minus there already. So if it says minus three, that means the only thing we did is put in a three, that is our point. Or uh, y, well, it should have said y minus 4. If it doesn't, something changed with our signs. You had to have another minus sign in there. It would be negative 4. That's the tricky part is looking at your signs. The point is negative 4. 
Slope is three eighths. That was easy to see. Make sure you pay attention to what numbers you're pulling out for your point, though, because it's supposed to be minus and minus. This was minus and negative. That's why that went positive. So, but this is the point and the slope. Same for B. Try it real quick. Just find out what the slope is. And tell me what the point is. I think most people could tell me what the slope is just by looking at it, which is the whole point of point slope form. If you said negative five halves, you are correct. That's the slope. For the point, well, the x coordinate. Well, this is supposed to be minus 3 and it's plus 3, so minus a negative is how we get a plus, so that would be negative 3. Minus y1, okay, minus y1, y1 is 6. Negative 3, 6 is the point. x, y, slope. Got it just by looking at it. So point slope form, this is the really, I told you, the main thing, be able to write it and recognize what pieces you're looking at from that equation. All right, let's try this one. The town of San Simon charges its residents for trash pickup and water usage on the same bill. Each month, the city charges a flat fee for trash pickup and a fee of 25 cents per gallon for water used. In January, one resident used 44 gallons of water. They received a bill of $60. All right, so we need to label everything with X and Y. How much water we used, that's our X. How much money we paid for that water, that's dependent, that's our Y. Independent and dependent. 25 cents per gallon, that's gonna be the slope. A rate is a slope. If X is the number of gallons used during the month, 44, and Y represents the bill amount in dollars, charge you $16, there's the point as written, 44, 16. What is 0.25 represent? Oh, we already answered this. This is M, or basically the slope. Now we can use, write that in point slope form. Again, this is just a word problem, and we've already done most of it. Point slope form. Y minus Y1, 16, equals 0.25, or slope, times x minus x1, x minus 44. There we go. Now write this equation in slope-intercept form. And what does the y-intercept represent? All right, so here is another key thing. We need to be able to change back and forth from our forms because when I'm looking at it like this way, the slope is easy to find, the point is easy to find, but knowing what the y-intercept is, not quite as easy. If I write it in slope-intercept form, which is, you know, y equals mx plus b, that makes it easy to see the slope and the intercept. And sometimes you need some uh, intercept, sometimes you just need a point. So let's see if we can change this equation to slope-intercept form. Well. I want the y by itself, so that means I'm going to get rid of the minus 16 by adding it to both sides. I need to distribute first before I do that. 0.25x and then 0.25 times 44, a fourth of 44, 44 divided by 4, 11. So minus 11 plus 16, minus 11 plus 16. There it is. Slope intercept form. I just had to solve for y real quick. What does the y represent? That's the 
flat fee for trash pickup. Because when you're not paying any, you haven't used any gallons of water, your X is zero. You haven't used any water, but you do have to pay a flat fee for the pickup. So you're going to be paying five dollars a month even if you don't use any water all right i mean that's basically it write an equation with the slope we practiced that finding the slope and the point on the line of the following equations we did that write the equation in slope intercept form make sure you find the slope and then put it in slope Point slope form and you have to solve for y. Just like we did up here. So we did that. That's basically it with this lesson. Make sure you can do 12, 13, and 14. And you can try 15 using the word problem, but it's the same that we've looked at. Point slope form though must look like this. It has a point that you can pick out and a slope that you can pick out. 